What's up guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today and the headline here read Divide this country now or we will not partake in 2023 election. Yoruba leaders tells Buhari. Alright, before I proceed with today's news, please if this is the first time you are watching any of our uh, news on this channel please there's a red subscribe button below this video just go ahead hit on that red subscribe button click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates here are the news in details prominent Yoruba leaders are threatened to boycott the 2023 election unless the country is restructured the leaders also decried the state of the nation, saying the ship of state is veering off precariously into a precipice and that Nigeria is at the very edge of political subsidence. This was contained in a communique issued at the end of the meeting of the Yoruba Summit Group. The Yoruba leaders, including Afenifere leader, Pa Ruben Fasharanti, Pa Ayo Adebanjo, President, Yoruba World Congress, Professor Banji Akintoye, uh, Are Onako Kanfo, Gani Adams, former Ondo State Governor Dr. Olusia Gumimiko, Dr. Tokumbo Awolowo Dasumu, and among others participated in the meeting. In the communique signed by Mogaji Beyoga Adijumo, the leader says, We are persuaded that nothing short of restructuring can save this country. Any attempt to go ahead with the election in 2023 without addressing the issue of restructuring will spell doom for Nigeria. The group decried the lopsided appointment in the country and the state of insecurity. The communique said the emerging resolve of Yoruba not to be part of the vassal state that Nigeria has become is better managed with due accommodation before any further degeneration and obvious consequences. During the summit, they also went further to um, demand and said, our quest shall help spot be to mobilize the masses of our people not to participate in any further election until the goal of restructuring or self-determination is attained. Did you hear that self-determination? Notwithstanding the interest of some element in our midst, it will be presumptuous to assume that the masses of the educated Yoruba nation will dive headlong into being part of the 2023 election when all elements of its execution, the military, paramilitary, INEC, the judiciary have been rigged and appropriated by a single very tiny minority ethnic group in a small corner of the country. The leaders called the, called the Muhammadu Buhari administration to take confidence building step ahead of the 60th anniversary of Nigeria as an independent nation on October 1, 2020. Steps toward an urgent meeting of all the nationalities have to be taken now to determine the nature of our relationship unless this peaceful step is heeded to so that Nigeria heads in the right direction. Thereafter, the clear alternative will be for self-determination quests to proceed rapidly without any further restraint. It has become pat patently unattainable for the Yoruba nation to tolerate further incompetence and impunity as has been foisted on all other ethnic nationalities across Nigeria. All right, guys, this is a bomb. Um, the Yoruba nation have eventually, they've woken up. They have woken up. And you see, I've always said it that uh, the people who utterly owe the key to um, the division of Nigeria is the Southwest. They did the Southwest. In fact, let me just say, the Southwest and the South-South. Southwest and the South-South. The day the South, Niger, Niger Delta will wake up and the Southwest wake up, Nigeria is gone. And that is what is about to happen. The Yoruba nations are demanding. First of all, look at what they said. They are demanding for restructuring. You know, restructuring is taking Nigeria back before the um um before the civil war. You know, before the civil war, each zones 
you understand me you know where in, nigeria was run like a federation let me put it that way let me use the word federation you get where by you know each uh federating unit will only pay tax to the center and you control what you have that is what we call resource control that governor Tao was actually conversing uh, for each reason will have their own resource con resource and then controls it you get that will actually you know reduce this corruption of a thing and all of that and it will, it will stop this cabal you know of a thing because now it's only the few that is actually controlling this country and it's such a shame so these guys were able to meet you get me and then issue a communique telling Buhari to immediately return the nation back to restructuring and you see this restructuring is not only the Yoruba nation that have been calling for it of late Oba Senjo have equally called for restructuring article go on you get these guys have called for restructuring but the problem is why didn't they do it during their time why didn't they do it you know so they knew this a secret that will actually make nigeria a better place but they didn't say it during their own time but they don't want to die with this secret because this is haunting them they contributed to the problem of nigeria today but they cannot fix it so they are what there are people are telling them you didn't do it in your time you expect Buari to come and do it that Buari will will, will run his government and then it will the other person will be the person that will do it not Buari. You get so you know if you go by federation federation system of government the center is actually weak it is those federating units that are strong you get so that is it so no but no government present government will like to do that even though the time they were calling for they were calling for this thing parliamentary system of government that nigeria should return back to the parliamentary system of government i mean which which government is going to do that which legislature will enact that the Nigeria should return to uh, uh, a parliamentary system of government? Nobody's going to do that. We are running the American system of government, which is even the most difficult. And Nigeria on is more even more expensive than even the U.S. The U.S. on is not even as expensive as us. Last year, Senegal scraped off the, you know, the Senate wing of it, the legislature. They scrape off the Senate wing and only allow the House of Reps. Because they cannot, according to them, he saved them 50 million US dollars. 50 million US, imagine 50 million, that's the chicken money for Nigeria here. Ghan, I mean, Senegal was looking forward to saving 60, 50 million US dollars by scraping off, you know, Senate. And the way they, they, they did it. So what they only have is only House of Assembly. So people are saying that what is the essence of Senate? Where we have as an assembly closer to the people, closer to the glass grassroots. Why Senate? Are they not doing the same job? Is they are doing the same job? A Senate has constituency, a honourable I mean, House of Reps has its own constituency. So what's the need? It is just extra expenditure. You get so that is it, guys. So people are beginning to wake up. The Southwest have woken up eventually, and this is what Biafran agitators have been saying. Namdikanu. Ralph Wazurike, you get me? They have all been saying this, and uh, Asai Dokubo, and the rest of the Biafran agitators. They have been saying, when they were saying it, they were looked up upon as if they were fools. But I think now the other people are beginning to see that the real solution to the, this, prop, the, this country's problem is restructuring. That is the best thing. Could it be that the Yoruba nation have discovered natural resources in their own in, zone? and they don't want the not to exploit it and they are trying to canvas for natural you know i mean for 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 you know uh a restructuring we wouldn't know remember the not was actually against amoteko they at the point they were against it until bandits came knocking at their door and killing them the most they are now at the receiving end so it that was how it is during the civil war the southwest were mocking uh, you know southeast for declaring Biafra and all of that, at the end, Southeast suffered enormously. They suffered. Many were killed. The pogrom. I mean, I don't want to mention a lot of people were killed. The estimated number they said that was killed is not that number. A lot of people were killed more than the number that was actually, you know, estimated. They said three million people. Did they count it? How did they count it? 
more people were killed unaccounted for especially during the blockade so guys what do you guys think about this the Yoruba guys do you think that they are going to be serious because in the face of this kind of agitation you must be prepared to face the might of Abuja they will come they will launch arrest I do you think that these Yoruba guys have the F country do they have the zeal do they have the uh, 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 purpose focus and everything to be able to stand by what their vision to actualize self-independence you know they said here that if restructuring is not if Bari will not accede to your request for restructuring that they will go ahead for self-determination that's what they said so guys please drop your comment below let me know what you think before you leave please subscribe to this channel hit that red subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest news and updates this is Malcolm TV God bless you share this video to your friends on Facebook Twitter WhatsApp and other social media thank you very much guys God bless you for listening